a look at the trapezium first. We could try to make a rectangle from it, but I'm going to try to make triangles. If we can, then we could use the formula for the surface area of a triangle to find the formula for the surface area of the trapezium. Now, I have a cutout of a trapezium. I'm going to fold this base onto this base here. We want to find the midpoint of the sides. I'm going to take my pen and a ruler and draw a line from this vertex to the midpoint of our side. And we'll take our pair of scissors and cut this triangle. And now we rotate the triangle like this. See what we have? A triangle. Do you want to see that again? Let's have a look at what I've done using a diagram. We start with the trapezium EFGH. It has a height, H, and two parallel bases EF and HG. I call the length of EF a. I call the length of HG B. Now we fold the base EF onto HG and we mark the midpoint here. We'll call this midpoint point O. FO is equal to the length of OG. Now I can draw in a line connecting E to O so that we get triangle EFO. Rotate triangle EFO around the point O and align FO with OG. Call this point here J. That gives you the new triangle EJH. Great! We've made a triangle from a trapezium. We know the areas of a trapezium and the triangle are equal to each other. We also know that the area formula for a triangle is half the base times the height of the triangle. Can we work this out in our new triangle EHJ? Okay, we know that the area of triangle EHJ is equal to the area of trapezium EFGH. So its formula is area is equal to half base multiplied by the perpendicular height. We know that the base of the triangle is made up of B plus A, so we can write half B plus A multiplied by the height. What do you notice about A and B? They are the parallel sides of the trapezium. So we can write the area of the trapezium as half the sum of parallel sides multiplied by the perpendicular height. 